glimmer of communication from alien worlds. For Seth Shostak, said his senior astronomer, it's a search for our distant cosmic image, for a species with a brain at least as smart as ours. When it comes to intelligent life, we haven't found it. So there are people on all sides of the issue. But the one thing that can convince you, I think can convince anybody, is that even if you think the processes that could lead to life, lead to intelligent life, are not going to occur very often, there's so many chances for it to happen in the cosmos, it would be miraculous if we were the only world with intelligent beings. Humans aren't the largest, or the fastest, or the most agile animals on Earth. But we are the smartest. Our brains have put us on top. There is, however, plenty of room for improvement. There's an unavoidable tendency to think that we're kind of the crown of creation. This is it, you know, four billion years of evolution from the beginnings of life to us. You know, I think if you ask the dinosaurs the same question, do you think you're the crown of creation? I bet they would have said yes, if they could have thought. We're the, this is it, this is the end of evolution. Well, they were wrong. And it would be wrong for us to think we're the end of evolution, too, obviously. So where will evolution take us next? And where is it likely to have taken alien civilizations? Seth thinks we need to look at our computers for the answer. Since the 1970s, when floppy disks were the gold standard, the speed at which computers process instructions has increased more than 100,000 times. Today, for $1,000, you can buy a computer that has, the, if you will, the, the, the thinking capability, at least the computational capability of a lizard. That's not so interesting. But by 2020 or 2025, $1,000 will buy you a laptop that has the same computational power as a human brain. The IQs of artificial brains are going from 0 to 200 in the historic blink of an eye. How will a similar trajectory play out on a planet that is a mere 500 years ahead of us? The interesting thing about artificial intelligence, of course, is its pace of evolution. I mean, we're stuck with Darwinian evolution, but the machines wouldn't be. What it means is that if you develop a thinking machine, it's going to improve itself very, very quickly. In 1948, mathematician John von Neumann imagined a machine so intelligent it could make copies of itself. Each copy would improve on the previous model, much as nature continually improves on its design. But this machine's evolution would take place much faster than biological evolution. Today, von Neumann machines exist in crude form. On a planet more advanced than our own, could they be the most intelligent life form, the dominant life form? Will our first contact be with a race of super-intelligent machines? You're only going to hear from a species that's at least as clever as we are. So what are the odds that they're within 50 or 100 years of our level of development? Pretty slim. They're likely to be thousands, millions, maybe even more, years ahead of us. So if you think about that for a moment, you recognize that if we do find a signal, the odds are pretty good that that signal is coming from artificial intelligence, not some squishy.